Welcome back everyone. Uh, we're going to keep going with our consonants and how to write them. Starting with the F cluster. F and Q. F, Q. Actually, yeah. Initial is the same. Not like this. That's the wow. And that does not connect to anything. The F does. In the middle, it's just a loop. And at the end, it's either the F like this, or it's the Q like this. All right. Let's look at, at the initial position. Uh, Fida, very useful word. Very Urdu word. <laughs> Fida means benefit. And you'll hear this in songs and in, um, uh, in uh, dialogues all the time. So notice this right here. Why is that there? Because it's fa e I, da. And they want to show that there is an I there. It's not just fada, it's faida, faida, faida. And this is that, that H, but when it's standalone, it looks like this. And it's an A ah when you see it at the end, faida. It means benefit. Karib. Karib means near, like pas. Uske pas, uske karib. And notice it's karib, but in Hindi um, and in many speakers it's just karib. Okay, in the mid, safar. Hum safar. If you ever hear the word hum safar, it means fellow traveler. Safar means journey. Safar. Uh, Mukabal. Mukabal means equal, a very Urdu word. Mukabal. Bil. See how the B goes into the L and the L hook goes below that B where it enters? Mukabal means equal. That's at the midpoint. Now let's look at the end. Uh, maf. This is very useful. Um, in uh, Devanagari, it's like this, which is just M-A-F. In Hindi, when you encounter words that start with an F and not a P, um, uh, it's usually an Urdu word originally. Uh, but in Urdu, it's a little more complicated. It's actually mu'af, or we've been doing it like this. It's actually mu'af, but we say it as maf. That is an ein, ein, maf. Mafi mangna, forgive me. Um, uh, it means to be exempt, to exempt someone. Uh, fark, fark. Fark, fark. Here the Q is at the end. Fark or fark, fark, fark in Hindi means difference. Uh, kya farke? Kya farke? I'm learning that in a song right now. Kya farke? Uh, what difference is there? Okay, um, let's see if I can. Uh, Saf, uh, no. Sirf. No, uh, let's think of one that goes into F that actually connects to it. Um, muft, no? Muft. I can't think of anything right now, but if it was to connect, it would just come in like this. Okay, it would, it would, uh, let's say I wrote tough, like the word, English word tough. I would write it like this. See how it goes right into the F, like that. Okay, um, let's go on to K. K. 
And if it's a G, you just put an extra line at the top, uh, extra straight line at the top like that. All right. Okay. At the beginning, uh, kya, very useful word. Kya, ka, ya, a. Kya means what? Kya hal hai? Kya hal hai? Uh, what's your condition? How are you? How are you? Uh, uh, Kashmir. Looks like I spelled it wrong in this. Okay. Kashmir. K sh ma e r. Kashmir means uh, the land of Kashmir. Um, uh, Kana, very useful word. Kana. This is an aspirated K. Kana. Not Khana. Khana is something different. Khana uh, means a place where you do something like Chai Khana uh, means Chai shop. Chai Khana. Khana and Khan is actually how you say Shadow Khan's name or Irfan Khan or Amir Khan. It's Khan, not Khan. Okay, but this is Khana, which means food, or it can also mean to eat. Okay, um, uh, let's see. Uh, Khas means grass. Khas. Uh, but if remember the special uh, things with K or G at the beginning. If it's directly connected, like let's say glass, which is actually gilas, it looks like this. This is with the L. Sorry. Come on, Alex. See how the K is looks like this, but it's at the top of the L, and that's a G. Gilas, gilas, or class, class, meaning you go to class, class. Here's your K up here into the L, into the A, into the S, class. Uh, that's the special for for L. Uh, for A, K looks like this, K-A, and for G, it looks like this. All right. Um, okay, going on to middle of the word. Uh, aksar, aksar. You're finally going to meet this S. We don't usually have this S in words, but here it is right here. A K A K, I'm sorry, A uh, K S R, Aksar, Aksar. Okay, not this. This is Sh, this is Sa, but this is also Sa, Aksar. Okay, Aghar, Agar, Agar. If, if. Agar, Agar. Here's the G in the middle. Uh, dekna, dekna. The e k, uh, aspirated K and uh, okay. And let's look at the end. Bach, Bach, Bach. Actually, let's do a middle one first. Pakistan. Ba, k. Stan, Stan, Pa, K, S, T, A, N, Pakistan. But Pak Cola is a type of cola in Pakistan. So this is Pak, Pak. Um, uh, Ank. This is the um, uh, this is the uh, aspirated version of the K, and it means I meaning uh, your eye that you see with. Ankh. Ankh. All right, so that's the K. 
Next is Lam. Let's do this. Okay, at the beginning, Leitna. We met this before, to lie down. Notice it looks like Aleph, but it's connected. That's all we need to look at. It's very simple. Uh, it looks a lot like the K. Uh, Milna in the middle. What is it when we see these Nas? It means it's the infinitive vo version of a verb, usually. Mil na, to meet, to meet. Um, at the end, hasil, hasil, result of. That's the svad going into the L. Hasil means the result, hasil. Okay, let's do one more. This is the M. Okay, meme, at the beginning, me. Remember, if you do not see a dot, that is an ng. Mm, mm. Now that's different from this. That's an e, and this is a hook at the end of the s form. Notice this goes in a little bit and then makes the circle right there, and you can put the n in there. So me is like this me. And it's a nasal version, main, main. Uh, that means in. This also spells man, which means I, man. Man, yahahun, I'm here, man. Okay, at the mid version, uh, lumba. Okay, watch how this works with the L to the M. L, M, B, A. Oh, I'm sorry, that's na. Lumba means tall. Lumba, lumba. Uh, Cumble means blanket. Uh, tamam. I forget what this means. Uh, tamam, I'm forgetting what tamam means, but that's the T into the M. Uh, okay, Bimar. Means sick. Actually, I think BMR is like this. I think it's actually a B E into the M R. Okay, and what is it at the end? Here's an easy one. Uh, I'll give you two. Hum. This means we and come, which means less. Come. All right, so there's a bunch of letters we're going to end next time. Next time we are done with, uh, with these consonants, and then we'll move on in Urdu. All right, great job. See you next time. Make sure to like and subscribe.